guys, welcome back for another episode. So Ben's in the water now, he's just swimming along this weed line. You can just sort of faintly see it there. Because I've just landed something very special, not off this weed line, off something else. Something very unexpected and I can't wait to show you guys. So the plan today was to check a couple of marks that, um, that Ben's found recently. Just a couple of sort of rubbly little rocky patches, sort of pretty well in the middle of nowhere, as you can tell. Not somewhere that you'd see a lot of divers sort of cruise out to and have a dive. My plan has always been, once this boat's done, is to come out and find spots like this, spots out in the middle of nowhere, have a dive and just see what's down there. Try and find those new spots. Try and find those unicorn fish. And yeah, and just make the most of this beautiful coastline that we have here in Mackay. As you can probably tell, I've already been in the water. Something cool has already happened. I haven't had something like this happen to me for quite a while now and, and it's a pretty good feeling to sort of make everything work. We did talk about this fish. We did say they could be around. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of stuff floating around. And there's been talk of guys catching them. Ben's just finished up now. Let's go pick him up. No, I thought that big patch over there, but there's like sticks sitting on it. Rightio guys, these are the conditions we had to deal with. We've had a lot of rain here in Mackay. It feels like it's been raining forever, but it happens every year and it'll stop eventually and we'll get that awesome winter weather. You can see Ben disappear into the murk there. So we had about sort of eight to 10 meters of really good viz on the surface, a patch of murk, and then down on the bottom, we had probably five to six meters viz on the very bottom. And it was sort of like a two meter area off the bottom that we had that good fizz. So you'll see me here diving down. It's a bit hard to tell here, I'm in, in the murk here. Not much fizz at all, and then it sort of opens up on the bottom. This is the very first dive of the day here. Just sort of having a little bit of a look around. Breath hold, absolutely terrible. Like I said, first dive. Couldn't see anything. We did sound up like a good rock on the sounder. We would sounded up a lot of rocks in this area actually. And what we did was we put a marker buoy down and we're just basically trying to hit that marker buoy, trying to find the rocks. Yeah, we were struggling with that viz. Start making my way up here. I can sort of hear a boat moving in the background, which sort of throws me off. And I can see something floating in the water there. I'm looking at my boat, looking at that thing floating, thinking there's a boat pulled up next to us. What's going on? Hit the surface. See that it's not a boat, thankfully. That's why I sort of took my time there coming up. And then I thought, you know what? There's been a lot of stuff floating around. I have heard of people getting triple tails recently. Ben talked about it on the way out. Let's go and suss this out. Let's see what we got over here. Now from here, I could see that it was like half a Nelly bin. Now a Nelly bin's like a rectangular plastic tub. People use them for dive tubs, use them for kill bins on your boat. And I could see something was inside it. <laughs> Bro, that is the elite. <laughs> I just saw this float to the <laughs> Wait, what did I say on the way out here? Dude, I'll get the underwater housing because that was such an amazing looking fish and it was absolutely by chance that I caught that dive tub, that I even saw that dive tub. And chances are, if that boat wasn't moving fast, I wouldn't have been looking around as much as what I was as well. Now we did a bit more sounding around and we found another really promising area. Decent rock, a bit bigger than the last one that we were trying to dive on. So we thought, we'll have a dive here, see what we can find, see if we can hit the mark finally. Start making my way down here. Similar conditions, that sort of eight to 10 meters of good viz on top. Finally make my way down to the bottom here. Looking around, I can see a lot of little fish here and I'm thinking, gotta be close to the mark. Then this big guy swims in, comes in for a look. He's by no means threatening, but it is a bull shark. It is a decent shark. I start heading straight up to the surface. I know that Ben's up there waiting for me. He's not too sure I'm gonna come up. There's a lot of current and obviously the viz is poor. Ben spots me there. Big shark. <laughs> and obviously with viz like that, it's just not worth it. So we decided to move on. Pretty sure that's what we just saw in the water. Chase my float up as I was pulling the float in, I reckon. 
it's time to move on. <laughs> now we fired the Merc up, went and found another spot. Now this spot was pretty filthy. It was very filthy actually. I actually crashed into the bottom here. But what I'm going to do with this dive is, if you're not subscribed, I'm going to count down here. Two, one, hold your breath. Now while you're holding your breath, I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're really keen, you want to hold your breath a little bit longer, pause the video, close out of YouTube, go into Instagram, follow me on Instagram as well. It's exhale underscore adventures. And if you've got a really good breath hold, close out of there as well. Jump on Facebook and give me a like on Facebook as well. If you managed to get all three of those done, please, please leave a comment. Let me know how you went with it. Let me know if you like little challenges like that through videos. I reckon they're pretty cool. I literally crashed into the bottom. <laughs> so with that, time for location change. Now this spot I've checked a heap of times. I don't think I've put it in any videos. So it's like a bit of a cave. It sort of pushes through into another open area. Now I'm 100% sure that one day when I'm diving here, I'm gonna find some black dew. Black dew have been shot close to this area and I just know that they're gonna be hiding out in here one day. So I check it every single time I'm near the area. There's always plenty of pelagics around here, always little skills of goldens getting around, and some grey mackerel. I was having a shocker with the greys. I had a few goes at shooting from the surface till I wised up and realised, come on Kurt, get down there, dive down. You get a way better shot when you're down under the water or under the surface. I make my way down here. Now it's very shallow, it's only like five metres deep maybe, if that. The bait was all up in the shallow, so I was just hanging out up there, and that's where these guys are cruising around, feeding on the bait. Get a pretty good headshot in this guy. Definitely not huge. Definitely didn't put up much of a fight, little fella. But yeah, plenty of meat off these guys, and they are just delicious. I'm becoming a real fan of these great mackerel. So we pinned it home. We had a bit of a time schedule. The old Haynes hunter, he loved it. I really wanted to get home and get all this fish processed so I could suss out this triple tail. We are home, I've washed the boat up. Doesn't really take too long the boat. That's kind of the way I built it as well, so it's nice and quick, get it done. Now today was very special. You've probably seen this already sitting behind me here. You would have noticed this in the footage earlier. So Daniel, if you're looking for your dive tub and your triple tail, I've got the triple tail and I've got what's left of your dive tub, mate. I couldn't just leave it out there. I kind of felt bad taking it out of the water because it had so many little fish living in it. But at the same time, plastic's floating around out there. It's no good. So what we have here is small grey mackerel, which would be my young cast dinner, and a triple tail, which I've seen plenty of photos of. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'll do the best I can to get as much footage as I can so um, everyone can have a bit of a look at it. I'll weigh it, measure it, and then I'll take the sides off it. We'll have a look at its flesh, see what it looks like. It's had a touch over 54 centimetres. Kilo, 3.15 kilo. Yeah, so I'll take the sides off this now and I'll let you have a look at the flesh. It's pretty white looking flesh, actually. I was kind of thinking it was going to kind of look like cod meat, but um, yeah, it looks really, really white. I might take the wings out of it as well and, and try that just out of curiosity. But that's the fillets. Really nice white looking flesh. I'm, um, I'm actually really looking forward to trying it tonight. It's gonna be good. I might get these fillets back in the esky and um, do something with this frame because these flies are just gonna get horrendous. Thanks so much for checking that one out, everyone. If you haven't already, click that little subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content. If you've got any comments, leave them below in the video. Any ideas for future videos and stuff like that, give the video a like and I'll catch us on the next one. Cheers. Filthy.